We spent the night back here at the Settlers Museum, the parking lot here at the pavilion. That sunrise is gonna be beautiful. You can still hear the buzz from those power lines. <laughs> We're about 10 minutes drive uh, from the trailhead where I got off trail yesterday. Look at that sky, that's beautiful. Uh, we're going to get ourselves together here. It's uh, quarter after six. A little bit of a late start today, but I've got very short mileage to do. Um, get ourselves going and get to the trailhead, and uh, I'll get back to you. Just like that, we're back at the trailhead. Look at that sky, you guys. Wow. Okay, I came out of the trail there. I'm going back into the trail here on the other side of that fence and walking the meadow in the cool of the morning. All right, heading off. Thank you, Sherry, so much. Thank you, and I, I realize, so, so not only is Sherry taking total care of me here and picking me up and feeding me and making sure that like I get enough things to drink and I'm healthy, and she's getting up at the same time I am every day. <laughs> unnecessarily <laughs> just to get me out here to hike so not getting as much rest as she would like so thank you sherry it's all good. <laughs> oh my gosh uh, it's just amazing amazing i've got an 11.7 mile day today uh we're gonna meet at the uh, bear garden hostel area oh, oh, oh that's right look at this instead gorgeous view we're gonna meet by the Bear Garden Hostel where today I might actually get a shower and do some laundry. Hopefully, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. If I get there early enough before like hikers start flooding in, that'd be great. Uh, I'm gonna say goodbye, bye to the dog, and I'll uh, see you at the first white blaze. It's a short day, you're not gonna be gone long. No, I won't be gone long. I did that four miles <laughs> in like an hour and a half yesterday. How did that happen? So yeah. maybe it'll be a time warp today. I hope not though, there's some beautiful things coming up. Uh, but you can go get your feet wet in the meadow. I am tall grass, but it's not blazing hot sun. That's right. So that's the trade off wet feet or blazing hot sun. I'll take wet feet. I'll see you at the first white place. Stars, gonna outrun the rain. The trail is long, it's rocky and it's steep. And there's a chance we'll lose our way. But I've been searching for something real to keep. And in my dreams I got so much to say Out here on the road I've seen miracles unfold They show me what the singing's all about In harmony we'll find that sweet sunshine I've come so far, no telling where I'm bound Gonna outrun the rain, gonna throw away Good morning, AT. Thank you for another day out here on trail. So grateful. And look at that sunrise we get. Look at that beautiful sky. All right, off through a meadow walk. Bye, Sherry. Sherry's got my umbrella. She made me take my umbrella out of the pack today. <laughs> I'd be carrying it around. Short mile day. Don't need it. Really looking forward to a nice walk today. This meadow is gonna be beautiful. I knew this was coming up today. I didn't know it was coming up now. Check it out. Quarter way there. Quarter way there. Yeah. Uh, I just checked, <clears throat> I did the math and I checked the mileage. So, um, because the mileage officially changes on the AT every year, it's, it's technically 1.3 miles off so this is 1.3 miles sooner than the official quarter way there point but 
Man, it's a milestone. I'm loving it. Woo! Yeah! I think I caught up to some kind of bubble. So I've been on trail this morning for about an hour. I've seen 18 tents. That's not an exaggeration. One spot uh, within the first, well, I see after the meadow, probably, probably a half mile after the meadow, there were 12 tents. Uh, and then there were, there've been six, two other spots along the way. So <clears throat> yeah, I have some kind of bubble. So I won't be alone out here today. They'll be passing me. And I'm still, still blazing again. I forgot to mention the other day when I headed out, I was a little hesitant in the rain and the thunderstorm. Uh, one thing I'm very grateful for is there were no silk blazes that day. None to speak of. The rain and the wind took care of that. But now we're back to normal. This is a beautiful section. I love when you can see a ridge up around you like that. Makes you feel really small. You know, you just look around and think like, right now, I, I'm the only one right here. This is it. This is just me, right here. Listening to the birds, looking ahead at where the trail goes. Just enjoying this. And it really does make you feel just so small. There's so much around me. I've seen two deer today, neither of which I could capture on camera. They're quick. They, uh, they hear you coming and they scurry. And then they stop and look at you, usually from behind a tree or a bush. So pictures, video won't come out, but I've seen two. Would love to see more. Yeah, look at, look how big, look how, look how just big this space is. Every day, every day, every day, I just am thankful that I get to be out here and I get to do this. Just amazed at the beauty of everything around me all the time. This is the first clearing we've had so far all Day. Oh, look, somebody's got a little fire ring set up with some sticks ready to go. Look at that view. That's all kinds of beautiful. Wow, the trail really opens up here. You come out of the trees to this open field. This is beautiful. I think I have to walk up that meadow. Let me remember. I think I cross the road, go through a gate, and I have to walk up that meadow. This is the road crossing for the quarter way in. That's a pretty, pretty famous hostel here on the trail. It's point three in that direction. And the arrows on the road here, AT North in this direction. I see a sign down here on the road. So yes, I will be going into this field and I can see a trail leading up northbound. I'm gonna put the chain back on, even though it wasn't on. Q. 
just because. Look at that view. All around. That's something. It's fence style. It'd be a little tricky to get over here. I'm gonna leave my poles on this side of the barbed wire. Right there. Up and over. Turn around. Go down backwards the other side here. This was, I was telling Sherry, there's two of these. Uh, this one here. And there's one more coming up uh, that were, for some reason, extremely challenging a couple years ago. Uh, I had to take my pack off and put it under the barbed wire and then get over. I, I don't know what the deal was. Here's the second frustrating fence style. Not quite sure how I actually got my pack under there. I don't know. That was a frustrating day for sure. It's funny how you can like remember stuff like that. And then you think back and you go, what was so bad about the day? You know, that made me just so aggravated. But anyway, I'm gonna put the poles on the other side and up and over this and continue on. Almost done with the day. Virginia 42. Uh, the AT goes in right there. I'm gonna go down this way to Bear Garden Hostel. Uh, Sherry is going to be parked somewhere down here. And I'm hoping to get a shower and do laundry at the hostel. I'm hoping they allow uh, non-guests to do that for a small fee. So, let's see what we got. Whew, I'm showered. I have some loner clothes on. My hiking clothes are in the laundry bag, ready to go in the laundry as soon as it's free. Whoa, that feels good. It was probably, it was a week, definitely, uh, between the, since my last shower, and it was like 10 days in the same stinky clothes. So I'm just complete hiker trash. It's horrible. Um, Sherry's in there taking a shower now. So Bear Garden Hostel, uh, five bucks each for a shower and five bucks for laundry. So that was real, real nice and convenient. Just right here off trail is like a point whatever up the hill from, from the trail. So we're gonna hang out here for the rest of the day, get some things done. I've gotta pack my pack and, and do some other things. But first thing on my list is eating this wonderful salad that Sherry just made me. And then, uh, and then get on with the rest of my day. Chores, it's just chore day today. Because I'm gonna be spending two nights in the woods, I need to repack my entire pack with all the things I've not been carrying lately. Uh, so I'm gonna kinda do that right now. It rained a little bit earlier, so I'm glad it stopped. Give me a chance to do this outside. Um, so let's let's pack it. I've got my backpack all packed for tomorrow. Bailey helped. She's a good helper, Doug. I'm gonna go ahead and end the day here. It's quarter to five. Uh, I'll finish editing this video, have dinner at some point, and uh, get ready to just kind of get into bed. Dinner? Dinner? Maybe. <laughs> Se second lunch, third lunch? Uh... I can just get ready to crawl into bed and just crash out for the night. Probably gonna leave a little early tomorrow. Uh, two nights, two nights tenting in the woods. It turned out to be gorgeous. The, the sun came out, sky is blue again. Uh, hoping the weather holds. It is supposed to be a little stormy the next couple days, raining. So I picked, I picked two days to get back in the woods uh, that have potential rain, but it's all right. It's the AT, gotta do it. I will see you when I get on trail tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great night. Talk to you later. In harmony we'll find that sweet sunshine
I've come so far, no telling where I'm bound Gonna outrun the rain, gonna throw away the pain I'm living right cause I'm following my heart Gonna outrun the rain, gonna celebrate the changes On the highway of legends, it's written in the stars Gonna outrun the rain Gonna outrun the rain.